me, Amishi, back again here at Non-Academic. And welcome to Amishi's Tips and Tricks video. Now, if you watched our previous Tips and Tricks video, you would know that Aishi, one of our content experts, was talking about how to get your unique thought by just reading books. But what if I told you there's another way to retrieve your unique thought? And this is about observing the current events all around you by either watching TV, watching the news, and yes, I know I might sound really old-fashioned for saying this, but how about reading a newspaper? Now, as we know, AI is able to do incredible things. It's able to write stories, it's able to write our essays, it's able to come up with videos, it's able to show us paintings, it's able to create music, and this is such a great achievement. But there are some people that are worried about this and for a wide variety of reasons. Because they want to know, has this actually been done by a human or was it done by AI? So this discussion has been happening a lot, but recently has it been happening just a lot more, put a little firepower into it. Because now it's coming up everywhere. And you know why? It's because OpenAI launched a phenomenal chatbot called ChatGPT. And this is a chatbot that is known for its long, accurate answers, like for a college essay, you might say. Now, while ChatGPT was in the midst of its launching, some person launched GPT-0. And why, you might ask? Well, they were thinking that ChatGPT can give you all these amazing ideas, it can give you all these amazing answers, but how would you validate this? Did this come from a human or was it actually AI? So to play a little game called, was it human or not? They came up with a resource that you were able to validate this in. Now, here's where the unique thought comes into play. Why are multiple different companies doing this? Even Intel, for example, in November launched Fake Catcher, which is the same thing as GPT-0, except it's used for videos and photos. So why do all of these different companies, why are they all running in parallel lines simultaneously and it's not just one? company because with multiple companies you're not able to get an accurate answer because they don't have access to each other's databases they don't have access to each other's uh, algorithms they don't have access to each other's mechanisms it just uh here and there so let's say if chat gpt were to launch chat gpt but at the same time launched special services just like gpt zero where you can come on here ask your question and come over here and validate it. That way, this company can now monetize in two different areas and it's just an overall better customer experience for us. So ChatGPT, if you're hearing me, consider the following because I think it'd be a really great idea. Now, the main point that I wanted to get out of this is that if I was able to get this just by current events happening around me, then you are too. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye!